Here at Hootsuite, we've been buying fake Instagram followers for years as an experiment for science. The results are always the same, crappy fake accounts that are bad for your account in every way. So this time, we wanted to find out if it's possible to buy real Instagram followers. So we bought the most expensive Instagram followers we could find. And the results will shock you. I expect him to hit at least 400 uh, new followers a month. Hi, I'm Eileen from Hootsuite's social media team, and this is Hootsuite Labs, where we teach you the science of social media marketing, how it works, and how to be successful. In 2017, we bought 1,000 followers for $9.95. In 2019, we bought 1,000 followers for $13. And in 2021, we bought 1,000 Instagram followers for 25 American dollars, and then made a video about it. What we found is that no matter what these services promise, their real, organic, safe, all natural, exclusive, and premium followers are always dead, inactive bot accounts. They show up all at once, look fake as heck, and then just sit there until Instagram decides to delete them. So this year we found a self-described Instagram growth agency that seemed a little different from industrial click farms like Twix or Famoid. Basically, they charge a monthly fee and one of their employees signs into your account to find and engage with potential followers in your niche. They promise that there's no automation and no bots, just smart Instagram savvy people growing your account for you and connecting you with people who will love your content. As with all sketchy Instagram services, it sounded too good to be true, so we tried it. So while we were looking for the best Instagram followers money can buy, we noticed that there were four or five companies dominating the search results and they all looked weirdly similar. They showed up on all the same sponsored content listicles, their web pages had the same layout, they all claimed to be number one. So that was the first red flag. The second red flag was that even their Trustpilot reviews looked scammy. First, there were warning of some of the reviews were fake, then 6% of the reviews were glowing and perfect, and the other 30% were absolutely terrifying. The third red flag was that all these companies charged pretty much the exact same price. 59 USD for the medium growth plan or 99 for the premium. But with a little more digging, we found a company that offers a third, even more expensive tier, a turbo plan for 249 USD. What do we get from the turbo plan? Turbo charge growth and a dedicated account manager. Okay. So I had a long chat with the guy whose name was Ryan at first, but then it was Samuel and he told me all about the service. And when I went to buy it, my credit card was declined and my bank called three times because it was worried about fraud. Unlock my card and the charge went through about 330 Canadian. And then Samuel passed me off to Iris in customer care who told me to wait for 24 hours for the payment to show up. So back to our experiment 24 hours later, our account still had two followers and my bank had left me two more concerned voicemails. Scarlet from customer service said, my payment still hasn't gone through and asked for the last four digits of my credit card. So I called my bank again and they put me on hold for 30 minutes before they said they'd release the transaction. Then I asked Sophia and customer service when my followers would show up. She told me to essentially chill. Two weeks go by, we've been sent 13 emails to seven different people. I've called my bank three times and Dave from Billing has sent me a screenshot proving that, that the transaction didn't go through. He tells me that I have to pay again. My bank disagrees and says I should block my card and let them send me a new one. But when my colleague Liz gets on FaceTime with Dave from Billing, he's very nice and shows her the office in Belsey, Georgia, and the phones their growth agents use to get us followers. But it's so fishy. Why won't he do anything to fix a transaction with his payment system? Why won't he just get our account started so we have proof this works? Why is our only solution to pay twice? I want to see this experiment through, so I asked my boss for another $250. Okay, so while we're waiting for our boss to text us back from vacation, let's talk about where fake followers come from. You've probably heard of click farms or phone farms. These are businesses where thousands of people work, each person operating about 200 phones at a time, using illegal SIM cards. They make new accounts like posts, pay videos, click ads, drive web traffic, leave fake reviews, etc. These are often in industrial scale operations that employ tens of thousands of people all over the world, but most often in countries with inadequate labor laws. According to anti-fraud research from ClickSees, click farm workers work 10-hour shifts 24 hours a day and get paid around a dollar an hour. Click farms aren't illegal, but platforms hate them because bots and fakes degrade the user experience. And brands hate them because fake users and fake click cost them billions of dollars a year. Now that we've called the bank three times, emailed seven different people at this company, paid 500 USD, 
had two video chats with people in Bilsey, Georgia. Our growth campaign is finally starting. My colleague Liz got up at 6 a.m. to talk to Lucy, our customer success manager, and she gave us the rundown. After we signed into your account, your growth agent um, is liking photos uh, from target hashtags that you provided, and we're also following people based on the target audience description that you gave us. Lucy also told us how much content she wanted us to post to help attract new followers. We normally do recommend to uh, have stories every single day, like if you can post stories every single day, and if you can post at least two, three times a week. In return, she estimated we would get about 400 new followers each month and that we'd be following up to 4,000 accounts, at which point they'll start to unfollow accounts so that our ratios look good. Overall, she gave us some pretty good advice for growth optimization, despite the fact that she was obviously perplexed by the purpose of our account. The account is about um, yeah, just animals in general, right? It's, you don't have any specific animal in your mind when you're trying to create the content. Um, more like animals you see around the city, not so much wildlife. For our part, we had to do some research to determine which influencers, accounts, and hashtags Lucy should target in order to find people who might enjoy our very special and unique content. We also found out that we'd have to pay another $35 a month if we wanted our growth agent to write comments or DMs for us, but we decided to pass on that. In order to start the process, we told Lucy our Instagram password. 19 days into this experiment, we are starting to see results. We now have 37 followers. We've also followed 125 random accounts. Our feed is full of people we don't know and posts we don't care about. Some of the accounts seem pretty fake, some seem real, and a few of them are deeply offensive and upsetting. Okay, it's been four weeks of this experiment. For $500, we got 335 followers. Of course, we've also experienced some less quantifiable results. For instance, two people DM'd to ask if we are happily married with kids. One person DM'd us an invitation to join the Illuminati Brotherhood. Two people offered us psychic readings. And one person asked us for help. We really hope she's okay. Oh, and one of our reels went a teensy bit viral which was nice to see. So all told, we spent about $1.50 USD on each follower who were often scam artists and often bots and occasionally really creepy. Plus we still have to stick to a content schedule and do the research to understand our ideal audience. Ultimately, if you're serious about growing your accounts and have a lot of spare time to talk to your bank and customer service, plus 500 bucks lying around, you could definitely try the service, but you'll still need a social media strategy and the time and energy to make relevant content. Do we recommend the service? We like Dave and Lucy and they gave us some good basic advice like posting stories once a day and optimizing our profile. But of course, we can't recommend it overall. Follow unfollows is a dangerous tactic that can really alienate people. And you're essentially just outsourcing your engagement, which could be more effective if you hung out on Instagram yourself for 20 minutes a day, which you're gonna to have to do if you wanna make good content. Oh, and before you go, grab your free 60 day Hootsuite Pro trial. It's gonna save you a lot of time. Meanwhile, I have to call my bank and get my credit card blocked before they charge me another $250. Thanks for watching friends. If you want more social media experiments from us, tell us in the comments.